Hello, my name is Wei, and today I will be joined by two of my co-authors for this presentation, Tochao and Jiayi. It is our honor today to present our research project, Tatar Viber Sense, a system which is able to recognize homework activities through a single point using laser Doppler vibrometry. We believe that the smart home of the future will be able to understand our homework activities. These include electrical and water-related activities, such as running a microwave, turning on a water faucet. So, why is it important to track home activities and appliance? What does this mean for homeowners? For homeowners, a system that can recognize those activities can be integrated into current smart home interfaces, self energy and reduct electrical leakage for a safer home. Current should require instrumenting each individual device for activity detection. So, for example, to detect the laundry machine, shower, fridge and a microwave, you would need four separate sensors or packages on each device. Therefore, our research question is, can we monitor home activities throughout an enter house across several rooms and floors using just one single sensor? Based on such question, vibration signal may be the potential solution for the following reasons. Firstly, the vibration signal can travel through the wall or the floor in the entire house. Secondly, different indoor activities have different vibration patterns and different travel paths. Hence, in theory, it is possible for us to use only one sensor at one point of the wall and detect the vibration signal from different indoor activities. However, in practice, the vibration signal traveling in the wall are usually very subtle. Therefore, we use a laser Doppler vibrometer to capture such subtle structural vibration. As shown image on the left, the LDV projects the laser beam at one point of the wall and detects its instantaneous vibration velocity, whose resolution can arrive at half micrometer per second. To demonstrate our analysis, we utilize this laser module to cast the vibration of 18 kinds of indoor activities and visualize their spectrum as shown in the right figure. Clearly, their spectrums all are visibly distinguishable. So we designed a deep learning pipeline to distinguish them. Firstly, the vibration signal is segmented by a two-second sliding window, and then we will apply the wavelength denoising and short-time Fourier transformation and spectrum normalization. Nextly, the 2D spectrum will input into a CN model to classify the indoor activities. To evaluate the performance of our system, we conducted experiments in five different houses these houses consisted of townhouse or family house with one or two floors, also with different sizes. In these houses, we select 18 types of common electrical and water-related indoor activities in our daily life, such as using the microwave, dishwasher, or the fridge. The evaluation of the system was divided into three parts. Sunday testing, cross-day setup testing, and simulated online testing. The Sunday testing was used to evaluate the system's general ability to identify home activities. The cross-day setup testing was used to evaluate the performance of the scenario. Finally, the simulated online testing was used to evaluate the feasibility of applying viral sense to real-world scenarios by continuous checking home activities over a five-hour period. In the same day testing, the average accuracy of the five houses was 96.6%. After resetting up the system, the average accuracy of the five houses was 89.0%. Across all five houses, the average accuracy for simulated online testing was 90.99%. As listed, we are showing the overall average accuracy, false positive and false negative arrows, of the 487 samples of 18 activities collected in 25 hours. To explore how the changes in angles and the distance will affect the performance of the LDV, 
We conducted an actual experiment to test the LDV's performance at four different angles and at three distance from the wall in house 3. The overall average accuracy was 92.2%. Next, to examine the influence of LDV locations on performance, we selected three laser projector points in three different locations as shown on the left figure. To test that if our approach can further diversify the activity into different stages, we divided the toilet activities into two stages, brushing and replenishing. The confusion metric shown here visualized that our system is able to recognize multiple stages of a single appliance with an average accuracy of 97.5%. Vibration recognizes 18 different types of activities by observing structural vibration patterns on a wall or sibling using a single point laser Doppler vibrometers. That's the end of our work. Thank you.